Now, the other thing that we want to focus on tonight is a question that keeps coming up because we always talk about service, but we don't talk about refinishing as much as we should. But platinum specifically puzzles folks. And there's a rumor that when you refinish platinum, you don't remove metal. And we're going to rate this one between the spectrum of false and true, sort of. Mike, could you it, explain? It doesn't, platinum, when you go to refinish it, it doesn't, you'll, you'll see scratches in platinum. Platinum is very hard, so it takes more to scratch it. When you do a scratch in platinum, though, <coughs> what happens when we polish it, it actually moves the metal back into where it used to be. So on, on, on gold, we're definitely taking layers off. Okay, it's nothing you're going to be able to weigh and see a difference once the watch is polished or not polished. You'll see it more on the edges, and, and a, a professional polisher will keep those sharp edges. Uh, we will see, you know, grooves and stuff from previous polishings where the grooves are gone, and, and especially in the lugs or on the end of the bracelets, you lose those sharp edges, and that's one thing we really try to guard against. In platinum, uh, platinum's treated differently. It's it's such it's a very hard metal. So again, when you're polishing it, you're actually moving the metal and you're putting it, you're, you're kind of molding it back yeah. to where it used to be. If you want to imagine it like this, you know, imagine you're a kid and there's a cake and the cake is covered with gorgeous icing and you just drag your finger yeah. along the top of that. Okay, well you've created a channel, but you've already displaced some of the icing to the side. So while you've removed some, it's also possible if you wanted to refinish the cake to push some of that displaced icing back in. And that's kind of like refinishing <coughs> platinum. You're going to lose some of the material because first, drawing something along the watch and scratching it's going to remove some material mm -hmm. to begin with. But also because just leveling the metal always removes material by virtue of the simple friction. Because of the malleability of platinum, this is the same why, the same reason why it wears out tools, because it is so prone to change forms, move, um, basically be displaced like Play-Doh or icing, you can sort of return the platinum to the channel and flatten it out without completely just leveling it. Right. You don't, you don't have to take everything else down. If you look at, if you, if you visualize a groove and to get to the bottom of that groove, you have to take all this away to, to get to that groove. So in platinum, it's not like that. You can actually just close the gap in it. Mm -hmm. um, one other thing I'll talk about too, besides platinum, is ceramic. We, we always get a lot of questions on ceramic is being used more and more, yeah. you know, now on bracelets too. Uh, ceramic does it, it? It's very, very difficult to scratch it. I'm not going to say it won't scratch. It's very difficult. If you brush up against something with ceramic, you're essentially whatever you're hitting, you scratched it, and it's leaving a deposit on the watch. Yeah. And we can remove that. Uh, it's one of the things you know. It's it's. I, when I was at Hublot, that's one of the things we did. We refinished ceramic by actually taking off what was scratched onto the ceramic. So it, it's yeah. kind of like a reverse. It's not. You won't see a gouge or anything. You'll see a mark on it or a scuff. Those actually come off, yeah. and that goes for different different ceramic, white ceramic too. And it's worth mentioning that if you can imagine drawing on a ceramic case with a pencil, and some of the graphite comes off onto mm -hmm. the case, that's how ceramic also treats metal and drywall. Right. So a lot of times you might think you've scratched your ceramic. What you've actually just done is you've removed some of the material of whatever you touched because the ceramic yeah. is so hard. So there's a deposit on the case, not a scratch in the case. And a lot of times you can just take that out with a pencil eraser. Yeah, we use, we use something a little stiffer than a pencil eraser. It's actually a metal impregnated. But the thing is, we have to do, if we do one part of the watch, we have to do the entire, that entire area to make it all uniform. Otherwise, you get a little, um, just a, not a discoloration, but you'll get a different reflection just because of the finish that's left on it.